Okay, so here we are at the front entrance to uh, the tiny house, Norma Jean. She is eight and a half feet wide, 28 feet long, and uh, I believe 13 feet tall. So uh, you'd have no problem transporting this on the interstates and over uh, underpasses. The uh, stairs would not come with it since we are borrowing the stairs from the owners of this RV park. So it has a small front porch. Uh, we're coming through the front door and you'll see there is a couch. It is big enough for three adults. You have plenty of windows in here. There's 11 windows total. Small kitchenette here. So we have our uh, dishes. We have a small little area for pantry, uh, dry goods and whatnot. Now for, for your coffee maker, the water uh, works great. Hot and cold water is connected to the RV water system right now. Uh, two burner stovetop. We've used it a couple of times. We haven't used it much at all. Um, decent amount of storage, three cabinets, drawer. The refrigerator is probably too big for this house. It came with it. Uh, you could get away with a smaller one, probably nine cubic feet. It would make it uh, several inches shorter and a few inches more narrow and then the uh, it's a brand new uh, Breville um, toaster oven we used it a few times out here and it works great um, come over here to the bar uh, two bar stools you can fit three bar stools three three people there no problems more windows like I said 11 total up here in the loft, we don't use it for people. We uh, use it for storage. The air conditioner heater unit is up there. And what you see uh, laying down there is a door. It's a, um, uh, I forget the name of the door, what the style, but either way it slides on the rails and I'll show you that here in a minute. We just kept it up there and it goes to the bedroom, but it's just the two of us. So we didn't feel like we needed it. This hallway, is I'm 6'2", so I'm guessing this hallway, the, the roof here is about 6'8", maybe 7 feet. Uh, the electrical box there, easy access. The bathroom here, so you have the sliding door on the rails. And then we'll open it back up, go inside. You have a uh, full-size shower. Uh, it's big enough for an adult. Again, I'm 6'2", and I don't have any issues fitting in there. Um, a real flush toilet. Uh, just made a space, a little caddy for our toiletries. Uh, let's see, towel storage. Sink, you have your light in here. Uh, electrical outlet makes it convenient. And then as we're stepping back out of the bathroom, we're still in this little hallway and we enter the bedroom. So this, these rails here is where the uh, door would hang if you need that privacy to slide shut. Uh, four windows back here. This is a queen size bed. Uh, we had a huge picture. There was a huge picture hanging on the wall here. It's not up now, but you can put whatever you want in. Let's see. There's a, uh, this light here, it does its job, but we have seriously been thinking about putting a ceiling fan back here. Um, we had a TV back here for a while. We took it out, but you could easily mount one on the wall in that corner there. Again, that's where a door would hang. And if you wanted to hang it, it's super easy. I can I just do it by myself. It hangs up there and you roll it shut. High ceilings in here. I'm going to guess those ceilings are at least 10 feet back here. Uh, all the furniture you see, the bed, the uh, end tables. It's enough room to walk around. I mean, it's not huge, but it's a queen bed. You can get on either side. The frame we bought, we bought it on purpose um, for storage underneath. There's 18 inches of storage underneath. We have a, a vacuum and a, maybe a few other things like sheets and whatnot and bags under there. All right, we're turning around and we're heading back out. And that is your interior tour of Tiny House, Norma Jean.